Moving on, let's talk about the fight between Aljamain Sterling and Piotr Jan. So, I think this is one of those fights that, yes, Piotr Jan was beating Aljamain Sterling up. I think he was on his way to winning that fight. I think he really picked stuff up in the third, fourth, and fifth round. And I, but I think that like people are forgetting that it was kind of close. Like Aljamain won the first, arguably the second round. Like Aljamain was just like, I just feel like he, as the fight progressed, his style wore him out. And he was like almost like fighting himself when he was throwing his shots. And a lot of the pop was taken off of them. And that's when Jan really started getting the boxing working and right, started hitting all his trips and stuff and just kind of tossing Aljamain to his back. All that weird shit, right? Like, Aljamain just kept ending up with his back on the mat over and over and then getting outboxed by Piotr as the p- fight progressed. But it's not as if Aljamain wasn't finding any success at all. People are acting like Aljamain isn't really fucking good. And he is, guys. Like, you don't do what he did to Corey Sandhagen without being really fucking good. You don't do what he did to a lot of guys in the division without being really fucking good. Aljamain is legit. And his jiu-jitsu is very good, right? Like, I don't think that Jan will want to engage him on the ground for very long. I think I want to kind of do the same thing, hit his takedowns and get out if he can. But, like... I also just think that Sterling is going to make a lot of adjustments for this fight, right? He's seen him once and the first fight was competitive. Again, I do think that Jan has the advantage. I just think that he's very patient. He waits, he gets his reads, he kind of takes his time, might sacrifice a round, like getting the read or something like, like I said, like trying to figure out what you're doing. But once he gets going, he just slowly turns it on. And when he feels you like fading, he just pours on more and more and more and more and more, right? I mean... I don't know. I personally just feel like he has a really good chance to win this fight. If I had to take all of the, like, all the the three fights, right? If I had to look at all of the odds and say, which one of these do you think is, like, the most egregious? I would probably say this one, Right? I think this fight is a little bit more competitive than people remember. I want to see what Sterling looks like if he controls his movement a little bit more and he's not like so like moving around. It was like he was moving around like too much. Like I don't know. There was like he seemed a little bit like I don't know, just off his game a little bit to me. Honestly, like if you watch a lot of Aljamain's fights, he always moves around a lot and shit, right? But there was just something in his movement like a hitch to it or something and like I don't know. And maybe that's because Jan's like, I don't know. But I just feel like Aljamain is going to come a little bit better prepared for this one. And I think it's a closer fight than people think. Once again, I think Piotr Jan is going to win. I think as the fight starts to wear on, he'll keep putting the pressure on. He'll find openings. He'll outbox Aljamain. He'll probably hit his takedowns and stuff. He won't engage him on the ground. He'll hit takedowns against, like, in the center of the cage mainly or out in the open. And Aljamain, maybe we'll see him work a little bit more heavily for takedowns up against the cage. Maybe we'll see him come out and play a little bit more kick heavy. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to – It's, but I just think that it's an interesting matchup and Aljamain's incredibly, like, disrespected in these odds. It's pretty insane. But anyway – Moving on. To, so, again, guys, I'm taking Piotr Jan. I think he's going to win by... I could see him finishing out... Like, it's not... This is what I'm saying. It's not like I think that Piotr Jan doesn't deserve to be the favorite. It's just that he's that big of a favorite. Like I said, the fact that you can bet $100 on each of these three fights and come out on top 50 if just one of them wins, it's crazy. But anyway, I digress. 